Hi there. So somebody on LinkedIn reached out and uh, was having a bit of trouble on uh, running this AI model uh, using Bubble. So I thought I'd record a quick video on the in the process uh, I go through on how to run any model on Replicate using Bubble. So in the first instance, what we ended up doing was actually run. So the actual uh, example, this is the original example. And uh, what I did was I uh, uploaded a file. Uh, where am I? Uh, demo. So in the demo, I actually uploaded a file, changed the prompt a bit, clicked submit, actually ran one particular instance so that it shows in my dashboard. So I just ran it like two minutes ago. And uh, then I could look at this ID. Uh, and this is where I uploaded a living room and got this mask and it got a regenerated render, which is pretty nice if I'm honest. Now, if I uh, take a look at this now, I, what I really want to understand is how this API call was made. And for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ID. Uh, I'm going to go into bubble. I'm going to do a get prediction API call. So get prediction and uh, no, get, get, get prediction text. Get, where is the get, sorry, get list of predictions. That's the API call, get list of predictions. Okay. So reinitialize call. So incorrect token. Let me just refresh that one second. Okay. So I've got my token fresh now. So I do a get list of predictions. Now, when I do a get list of predictions, I'm looking at the raw data here and I'm trying to find that ID, the, the ID that I just recently uh, did a run. Uh, my Insta, my inference instance just now. So when I look at that ID here, okay, so the input prompt format is this. This is what I'm looking for, okay? So the image being passed, it's a file, it's a URL of a file. It's a public URL, uh, probably public, private won't work. So then it's scale prompt, uh, positive prompt and negative prompt DTIM steps, each model has its own kind of unique approaches here. So now if I'm gonna copy this input like here and save it. Now I've got other tutorials on how to have, how to like run a prediction. So I'm just gonna copy one of those at the moment. So expand stable digital llama or I'll just go with this one. So duplicate and where is it? this one so stable runner uh, this one is control net right run a control net so the input is gonna change to what I just asked for the version is also going to change so the version is this one is that full version ID uh, I'm looking for API and uh, this version. No, this is the version, yeah. This is the version, and then I think this should now work. So, this create prediction was sent again, and now the ID is this one. Okay. And if I take a look at my dashboard, and so it's API running 12 seconds ago, uh, it's probably, uh, it's done already. So th this is a pretty fast control net. So yeah, this is a different render to my previous one. So dashboard, so that was web five minutes ago. This is 29 seconds ago, that's the one. So I did manage to successfully run uh, my control net API call. Now the main thing I think what can be slightly tricky here is this URL, uh, but uh, essentially we'll just parameterize this to uh, image URL, okay, and put it here, untick private, untick private, that's supposed to be version test because that's the webhook one. I've got a separate tutorial on this. And uh, if I now reinitialize this call, this will be fine. In terms of how I'm going to trigger it, control net. So I'm going to need a image uploader. 
picture uploader or image picture uploader yeah so i'm going to need an image uploader and then i'm going to need a button uh, run control net so the image uploader run control net uh what's uh, did i have the right it's an action run control net so run control net so this image url this can be the what's it called picture upload a value uh, url and uh, that's just app version here and uh, this should be just done now uh, send to replicate and the id is helpful as well so that that's probably enough i mean we can of course get the result of the inference and uh, but that's already explained in another video on how to like use webhooks and get inferences and get inference results uh, so i won't bother here but if i upload an image uh, and i upload that gallery image uh, it's gonna take a while to upload and when i click run control net so it's the same one uh, step by step run control net so that's the image pass version test okay so it does not match format we've got an issue uh good one good one let's see it does not match format oh there's no https here so we just need to add http s colon slash slash let's see let me just double check so yeah it's not private yeah let's see let's try again yeah work that's the id and uh, control net dashboard yep through the ooh failed ah good good uh, we're now debugging we're learning what's going on here so it's not liking this public url no host supplied interesting so no host supplied no host supply oh, is double slash again is that a valid url maybe one second uh, so the browser is fine the python code that's reading this it's unable to read this entire url i reckon it's this these two slashes which are being slightly annoying uh did i add them or was it by there by the, okay i added them so there were two slashes there already uh http and why did i add s okay yeah i did add s so let me just check one thing else data file manager so that's the full url it is https so that's how it's supposed to look like it should work now maybe it's the double slashes and if not then we're gonna go back to the drawing board and start debugging again so we've got another id and dashboard yay it's starting so it hasn't crashed immediately and i think i think it's working let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see yeah 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 it worked it worked we've got a render amazing amazing so uh 10 minutes from like just like a pick a new model and uh, on replicate and just run it with bubble and uh, get results now these results can easily be shown as well uh, it's just a case of get get prediction uh, where's that get prediction api call plugins api run and get a prediction we'll just duplicate this one get a prediction control net uh, what does this look like so this is the raw data coming through 
uh, the output file it's a file yeah okay that's fine we've got the stable diffusion image tutorial which will just and give some ideas on how to display this uh, we've got web hooks in eight seconds that, that's super fast super fast and the output quality is pretty really good you know I, I like it interesting okay hope this was useful so if you've got any like uh, works that this, this whole video started as a linkedin message uh so do check out my linkedin and follow please there and uh if you've got any queries uh get in touch and uh, just as a background we build uh apps for clients all day every day uh so if you've got like a, a project that you want to run with uh also get in touch thanks bye